So, uh, Mags, first time we've been able to talk to you since you've joined us. First of all, welcome to the club officially. Looking forward to the season starting this weekend? Yeah, no, 100%. Um, I think, like I said to the, to the boys and, and to the gaffer, um, it's just like it's a well-run club. Um, everyone's positive. All the lads are. They've been welcoming. They're welcoming me with open arms. The gaffer first day, obviously, against Brentford. I just like, I didn't know any of them, but I felt like I was part of the team as soon as I walked in the change room. So that's that speaks volumes of how how the lads are here and how the club is and how the gaffer is and and um, ev- everyone else. Just the staff, all you guys, um, been been class with me. So yeah, appreciate that a lot. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you were straight in on the deep end. You've been here about a week now. So so how have you found it? Yeah, no, it's been good. It's been good. I mean, um, the co- the the sessions have been good. The coaching's been good. Um, so yeah, God willing, everything everything goes to plan against Wrexham. We want to go there and win. You want to go to Bromley and win. So hopefully, you can make that two out of two, um, and then and then start start uh, building momentum off of that. Obviously, yeah, it's going to be a, be a tough test on the weekend. Uh, yeah. How much do you do you know about them and this this league um, into it? I know um, Phil Parkinson, right? Is the is a gaffer. Um, I know he was the Sunderland manager beginning of the last season. So that's and he's been he was at Bradford when my older brother was at Burton. They actually beat him. Um, Bradford beat Burton in the playoffs I think it was the semis um, and I remember him being manager then um, and I know Paul Mullins obviously coming off of what 37 goals last season um, and one of my friends one of my old mates um, from Spurs plays at Cambridge and he said he's a handful so it's a good test like I know I know it's going to be a tough game I know they've I know they're going through it I know they're, they've they've got a, a high budget or they've put in they put in a lot of investment in the in the club, so they're definitely going for it. But we are too. We've got confidence in our we've got confidence in our team as well to to go on and beat them. I mean, it's going to be here in front of in front of hopefully a, a full stadium, home crowd, and let's see what we can do. Yeah, no, you're you're with us until January uh, initially, and then obviously we'll see what happens. What are your goals personally for for your time here? Um, to play. Obviously, last season I come off good two seasons in Poland after leaving Tottenham. That was that improved me from here to there. Um, obviously, I never. I've, I'm not saying I'm like was like Virgil Van Dijk, but I did improve from where I was. Um, and for me, I, f- I feel like when I reflect back on my time at Tottenham and in Poland, and obviously last season, I improve when I'm playing. So I feel like um, I can't just train. Like I can't just train and not play. And I need them. I need games. I need rhythm us big guys we need that you know so I feel like last season um, it was tough not playing it was tough being kind of in the background for the season but this season thank god I've got this opportunity to go and to show to again remind myself and also show show others what I can do so that's that's my my main goal is just to play play well help the team hopefully we can achieve our targets perfect thank you very much yeah. cheers thank you